Today I'm going to apply the shields on this 360. It didn't come with the shields from factory, so I got these from the UK. They are made out of solid uh, material, some kind of metal, and uh, they do have the bend. And it's not flexible, so it is actually designed for this vehicle or the F430 that do not have these shields. Um, it's the original shields have an indentation, but these are pretty thin, so it should work pretty pretty decent. It's just a matter of aligning it. Now, <clears throat> from the internet, I uh, got some data that shows that uh, they should be about 72 millimeters at the top and 84 millimeters at the bottom. So the top is right there from the corner of the door, and then the bottom is 84 millimeters. So I'm gonna measure it and then use masking tape to mark it. And then I'm gonna do uh, some test fits. Um, the bottom, you're gonna have to basically eye it from this crease. And I have a photo here, which kind of shows how far it should be from, uh, I believe it's a car that came with it. Here we have it positioned, again, approximately 84 from the door, this part right here. And sorry, 84 here. 72 here the end tip of this I mean it's it's really hard to get it exactly within millimeters but um, it looks your good to your eye I think you should go with it now what you're gonna have to do is uh, you adjust it you mount it on there then you need to basically put tape around the areas and uh, create a little stencil for yourself to put it on because so you're gonna have to clean the surface and um, once you clean the surface you can also have to do some bending because you can see there's a there's gaps in there, so it's not done yet. Okay, here's our stencil. So basically, I just went all the way around it. Just double checking that it looks good. I made the measurements. Top and bottom are approximately what I said. Um, yeah, so apparently how it works is if the distance between these two parts is that, then the height will automatically adjust. Now, I don't know how accurate that is, but I mean, it's really hard to get an exact gap. I mean, within a millimeter of this, I mean, which part do you look at, you know? So that's the stencil. And basically remove this and clean the surface real good. Then take the sticker off and, oh, no, actually no, sorry. Going to make sure that the bend is correct before I take the sticker off. Okay, so with a lot of bending, uh, I got it pretty good. It is a lot of work. Um, adjustments so you have to get the right contour of the uh, of the fender here and um, you know the bottom will like stick out but then the center will bulge and stuff like that so it's it's tricky um, but I think I got it pretty good I mean it's you just I hope to, I just hope the glue tape stuff on there holds because if it doesn't then uh, I have to probably glue it on with something else. So I'm gonna try to put it on and clean the surface with alcohol and go on from there. And here's the final result. Looks good.